Welcome on in. It's time for sports. The 2023 Erie Metro chapter of the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame class was inducted earlier tonight. Fox 66 sports reporter Ashley Kaiser has more. After years of hard work and dedication to their craft, a spotlight's being shined on nine individuals as they're inducted into the Metro Erie chapter of the PA Sports Hall of Fame. It's, it's uh, a tremendous honor. It's a little overwhelming, honestly. You know, I think when you're a coach, this is not something you aspire to have happen, but really feel blessed uh, to be recognized in such a prestigious group. Well, it's a big honor. You know, we have some, some, some great inductees coming in. One of the inductees was my grad assistant at Slippery Rock, Coach Manchel. You know, so to go in with him, you know, that, it, that's, you know, that's a big honor. Overwhelmed with, with excitement. I'm glad to finally get into the Metro Association. It's a stepping stone to hopefully maybe get into the entire state of Pennsylvania. So I'm very honored to be here. It, it doesn't seem real. Uh, never in my career did I ever think that it would ever come to this. Uh, so it's kind of surreal. It almost like brings you a little peace, you know, if he's like gone, at least his legacy can live on and, you know, people can remember him in this really, really good way. The journey to this point in their careers wasn't easy. As Windsor celebrated, inductees reflect on the people who made it all possible. All the different nostalgic things that come into your head and the different championship teams that you've been involved with and, and you know, just touching base on a lot of that stuff and then your family and all your supporters. And being a part of the 2018 Olympic team it was really special to me. Um, Something that was, again, really unexpected. I was never the best player growing up. Um, didn't really ever expect the, ch the chance to play in the Olympics and represent my country in that stage. So that was just an, a surreal experience. I suppose it all began with a, you know, a scholarship to, to Mercier's back in 1986, and it's kind of gone on from there. You know, I graduated from there, left for a couple of years, came back in the mid-90s to coach soccer, and uh, I've been involved in the game in one way, shape, or another pretty much since then. It's not really pat yourself on the back, because I think it's, it's not something that I've done. It's something that we've done collectively with everyone support, whether it be the players, the coaches, uh, administrators, uh, athletic staff, you know, there's a lot of people that go into building a culture, building a program and winning. For Fox 66 Sports, I'm Ashley Kaiser. Thanks, Ashley. The Seawolves Wednesday night game against the Akron Rubber Ducks was postponed due to unplayable conditions. Erie will return to action for two about 13.